Okay, so in this chill out time, we are going to look through uh, 664 pages of classic video games. And this is the second book which I got of this, I mean the first one, which I already did a chill out time of, if you want to see the ultimate retro collection chill out time, uh, flick through, then uh, the link is in the description below or in that letter I somewhere on flicking the screen. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, do check that out if you haven't already, because it's, you know, it's a, this is really nice, I really like this one. And uh, yeah, now it's time for us to check this one. So this one is 35 years of gaming history, and um, this one, as I said, it was next to the other one, and they both just caught my eye, and I was like, which one, which one shall I get, which one shall I get, and I ended up getting freaking both. <laughs> So yeah, what got me was the Amiga. Of course, naturally. <laughs> We're drawn to the what we love the most. Again, this is like um, future publishing of the makers of um, the publishers of um, Retro Gamer magazine. Man. I was never kind of into this kind of, with this era of gaming, it was, I kind of stopped after the PS1 <laughs> and Crash Bandicoot and all that. R-Type 3! I'm never actually, I haven't actually played R-Type 3. Recently I did a Nostalgia Time on R-Type 2 and uh, yeah, do watch that, it was kind of really nice, I enjoyed that. But I haven't seen R-Type 3. What thingy is this on? Platform. Anyway. Um, Super Street. I'm guessing all these are uh, Nintendo. Final Fantasy. My cousins were crazy about Final Fantasy all the time, and they tried to get me into it. My cousin Marwa from you know the US. She was always in, she's always into. She still is into it. And um, yeah, but I never actually got into it. Maybe I'm just not an RGB kind of R RGB. What the freak is that? RPG kind of girl. <laughs> <laughs> My brother had the Xbox the um, original Xbox, but it was just, I mean, the new kind of games, the war games, gun games and all that, I'm just really, it's not, ooh, this is what I'm into <laughs> with this kind of stuff. Galaga. I need to play these on the, um, not only on the 2600, but also on the um, Commodore 64. You know something, I do... I keep saying that I'm not a console person, and I'm not really, because I've always been a computer girl, but there's been a couple of consoles that have been, you know, more closer to me than others. PlayStation 1 is the one which I had, you know, the original PlayStation console. But this one, this Mega Drive 1, this is the one which I really like. I love it aesthetically, and if there was any console of this era, I think I would choose this one over, you know, any others. Uh, and I remember this one from a friend's house, uh, again, Sonic, but I really prefer this, the Mega Drive 1 over the 2, really. More than... It's just... It's got that Batman kind of look, <laughs> which I really like. Golden Axe. I remember... Um, Ghouls and Ghosts! I did that... Um, what do you call it? The Halloween special? Where Ghosts and Goblins and Ghouls and Ghosts. How is Ghouls and Ghosts on the Mega Drive? Is it good? I must try it, <laughs> of course. Um, but it was really bad on the Amiga. So it's kind of like, well. But these are the games which I'll remember. Of course, Sonic the Hedgehog. Populous! That was on the Mega Drive. I didn't know that. No, I had a Mega Drive port. Streets of Rage. I've been watching friends stream that <laughs> online. Retro Hawk. And um, Aladdin, of course. This, I I played the Amiga version, of course, back then. But this, you know, obviously it's a lazy port of the um, Mega Drive port. But it's still a good port. It's an AGA port. So, mm. Bomberman, the um, the Amiga one. What was it called? Blitz Bombers. That will always be my favorite Bomberman game. It's a Bomberman clone, but I prefer that even more than the original Bomberman. 
on Micro Machines 2. I remember playing this on, um, uh, what do you call it, Mega Drive. Micro Machines 1, I used to play on the Amiga all the time. I was addicted to that game, Micro Machines. But on, it doesn't have, on the Amiga, it does not have um, Micro Machines 2. So I remember this on the Mega Drive. My cousin, he used to come, you know, all this way in the summer and bring his um, Mega Drive. And I used to play this. I remember having to have, I used to always wish it was on the Amiga, but it just never was. Is John Hare there? <laughs> Spire the Dragon, I remember this! On PlayStation! Oh, I used to find him so cute! I used to find him adorable! <laughs> I was like, I wanted Spire the Dragon! <laughs> Cuddly fleshy! What's this Metroid? Morph Ball. Space Invaders! Let's have a look. Arcade Various. Space Invaders 2. These are the classics that I really appreciate. There was a Space Invaders uh, clone on the Amiga. It was a PD game. What's it called? Amobia, Amoeba Invaders. Amoeba, what the freak? Amoeba <laughs> Invaders. It was really good actually. I really liked it. I will show you that one time. But I do like these classic games. What's this? Space Invaders DX. It's very strange. What is this? It looks like a Space Invaders set up, but with Bubble Bubble there. The Bubble Bubble Dragon, Bubby. And um, the enemies of Bubble Bubble. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like Bubble Bubble shooting something and getting all those. So it's kind of like. I want that! What is it? Space Invaders DX 1994. Well, look around at that. I need to have a good read through this. So it's all the different kind of Space Invaders which, you know, there was. Space Invaders Evolution on the PSP. I have a PSP, by the way. I must kind of like, you know, get these. Where are the... <gasps> the Amiga! <gasps> what a beautiful sight! Amiga 500! Ah... Uh, it's just like happy sights. Alright, let's have a look. Chuck Rock, son of Chuck. I like that, I need to play that <laughs> for nostalgia time. Canon for the IK Plus, I remember this. I remember um, there was like a uh, Pac-Man or a worm or something in the background. I remember my brother playing this and point, both of us pointing those out uh, in the background. It was funny because um, it had like sub games with the ball things as well. And yeah, Shadow the Beast, a beauty of a game, great artwork, great for the time, but it's so freaking hard that I just couldn't play. <laughs> Again, I was another which I watched my brother play at this. And um, Batman, of course. Uh, I loved Batman, but and I still love Batman. But the thing is, I don't like the three middle levels. They just ruin everything, <laughs> to be honest. It's like the first level, the platform one, uh, the access, uh, access, what do you call it, chemical factory, and the um, the cathedral at the end. Both of them, I love them, those two levels, but the levels in between, I, bleh, I don't like them though so much. And, uh, where's it going? Anything else here? No. Stunt Car Racer, I recently played. <laughs> I played Stunt Car Racer um, on uh, Nostalgia Time, and it was kind of funny because I can't. <laughs> I'll link that to the description below as well or anywhere else. It's like whatever I talk about, whatever nostalgia time I talk about, I'm gonna link in the description below. The Lotus Trilogy. The Lotus Turbo S3, Lotus 2 and 3. Mostly Lotus 1 and 2. Those just great memories with us. And um, I used to play Speedball 2 with my brother. <laughs> I remember those 
do you know that? Um, it was a funny thing that happened when we were both were playing. It cracked me up. <laughs> it cracked both of us up. It's like, there was, um, do you know when you, the time runs out and you hear that burp, burp thing? It's just the exact, there was two burp burps and someone freaking peeped their horn outside. It was like exact timing. It was like an extra peep. And we just cracked freaking up. <laughs> this one, Populous, is a funny one. This actually, because I remember um, when I was like around eight or nine or some ridiculous age like this, I used to spend hours playing on Populous. And I used to somehow, maybe I didn't used to know what I was doing, but I used to have some, it caught me, it got me. Now when I think back to it, I'm like, how the freak do I play this thing? I still, I, I, I haven't attempted playing it, but I look back and I think, Ooh, why do I do it? <laughs> River Islands, amazing. I used to play that a lot. Pang! <laughs> I remember Pang. I need to film these, all these nostalgia times, with, all these games for nostalgia time, which I haven't done yet. Supercars too. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, lemming. Mike Daly's look back at the lemmings. I love lemmings. Lemmings just amazing. <laughs> I remember this. Um, Jimmy's Women White Werewolf Snooker, or uh, even if it's AM Pool, it's kind of the what I remember about this is the freaking faces the bo the s snooker balls or pool balls made. It's just like you know sticking your tongue out at you and stuff. That's what used to amuse me honestly. <laughs> Another world, of course. Why is this little diddly freaking another world? It needs to be big. You know, it's a classic game. I love it. I, actually, uh, Shot97 not so long ago did a um, review of this. And also he did a review quite a while ago of uh, Tarek and Tu. I will link those two in the description below. But yes, my lemmings hour. <laughs> that is... Uh, I did that... Actually, this summer I did that. So I will link that as well in the description below. There's gonna be a lot of links to nostalgia times that you must see <laughs> and uh, other videos that you must see. Tarakan was one where I used to like it because I used to watch my brother play it, but I couldn't play it myself, it was just too hard. And uh, oh, Pimble Fantasies. This, I used to really like this, but Pimble Dreams I love. That is my favorite. Flashback, I liked it. I really liked the graphics and everything, but I used to get stuck somewhere. And I couldn't get past that point. But, of course, Another World, I used to love that. I used to always think, all this time, I used to think this was Another World too. But it's not. <laughs> Just found out recently that it's not. Oh, Biscuit. This is a weird game. Biscuit's just odd. I used to play it for a long time, but it was odd. I'm getting freaking hoarse. I, I need to freaking... I need to drink something. I'm not used to talking so much. Mm, benefactor. Benefactor, all oh, those uh, college memories. It was like, uh, this was a later game. Uh, 1994, but I discovered it way later when I was in college. And um, I used to come home and uh, used to get, you know, it's like a winter. Actually, this is like a... A winter time, autumn winter time, you know, I used to come home from college. The it used to get dark quick and I used to be playing Benefactor. That's kind of that's my memory of that. And it's the music and everything just <sighs> let me make you that fuzzy feeling <laughs> that you all know all too well. The Chaos Engine. I never played that myself, but I always used to watch my brother. And uh, I, I still don't know what the freak you do in it, in the sense of you just going around. Actually, um, somebody requested that, so I'm gonna have a game of Chaos Engine anyway. Beneath the Steel Sky! I remember playing the CD32 version of this, of Beneath the Steel Sky, on my Amiga 1200 tower, back in the day. <laughs> and I, I was so impressed with the voice, with the speech, I was just like, whoa! Amiga can do speech, and I was just like, let me show this up to everybody. <laughs> I was like so impressed. Ah, oh, well, die blue. I'm not into the modern games. They're just too dark. I'm sorry, this is just my opinion. It's just 
the new games are just like war and graphics and darkness and demons and demonics and freaking whatever. Blah, blah, blah. It's just boring. It's the retro stuff which I love. The only new game which I've said many times, I think, that you know captivated me was Minecraft, and that's about it. I mean, there's other games like um, what you call it. Uh, what's that game called? Uncharted. The Uncharted series, I would never play it myself. I would never play it, but I would watch my niece play it. And I used to enjoy watching my... Oh, I still do sometimes enjoy watching my niece play it. But me, myself, no. I, I don't want to play these games for some reason. This is Gradius. Gradius looks interesting. I must have m missed it. <laughs> I still I don't know it, but just what the freak is going on here? Freaking <laughs> very racy. show anything with uh, is he playing a guitar? No, he's playing um, a cello. Cool. I have respect for anyone who can play the cello or violin or something without fretless instruments. <laughs> it's just like, whoa. <laughs> Do you know something? They didn't show anything with Crash Bandicoot. Come on. How can you not show Crash Bandicoot? It's like such an influential game. Ooh. And the freaking dark war blah 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 new stuff <laughs> oh, I like this I don't know why I like the last ninja music whether it's on the Commodore 64 or the Amiga I just love this music it's just a nice tune blah, 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 blah. <laughs> You modern game, lo game lovers must hate me at the moment. You know something? I'm I'm really not a Nintendo person. It's just yeah, I, I've never been a Nintendo person. Um, okay, I know the I know that SNES is good, Super Nintendo, and the NES is good too. Like, you know, the games are alright and all that stuff, but I'm not into it. Do you know what I mean? I'm just... It's not, it's not my thing. I'm more of a Sega girl. <laughs> if, I, if I were to choose the Nintendo and Sega war, I'd be more towards Sega Mega Drive and stuff, rather than Super Nintendo. I'm, not, I'm definitely not into the more recent Nintendo stuff, to be honest. It's just... I've just never been. <laughs> just never have been. I've always been a PlayStation person, or an Amiga person, or a Mega Drive person, you know, it's kind of... Well, Commodore 64, of course, if it's the 8-bit we're going back to. It's that kind of a thing. Oh, Frogger! The Retro Guide to Frogger. This is good, it kind of tells you all the you know, ports and stuff, and the, how it evolved, and... It's kind of good. This. I've got the, I've got a lot of reading to go back and do with this. Just something. I'm glad I got these. These bookazines. It's just. Oh, that's nice. What is this? Very nice and colorful. Frogger Hyper Arcade Edition, 2012. It looks really nice, actually. It's just colors. What platform? PS3, Wii, Xbox 360. Freaking dumb, any of them. Okay, and that's it. It's gonna go back a little bit. And, you know. Let's wait for this tune to end. <laughs> In fact, the entire side to end. Let's kinda just go back to the Amiga section. Let's just, you know, reminisce over these. <laughs>
until this music or this side of the cassette ends. Actually, I think this is the last, the last track on the cassette, but I've put a little extra on because the cassette was running out. I want to play Benefactor again. So that is all for today's uh, chill out time uh, flick through, and I hope you enjoyed uh, flicking through this and you know, going, you know, reliving memories. And if there's anything you know that felt nostalgic to you, you know, do discuss it in the comments below. Do mention it, and uh, yeah, thanks so much for your likes, your shares, of course. Comment below and your and your experiences. What games were nostalgic to you? What did you see on this that kind of you know got that kind of like perked your eyes up because <laughs> I know this perked my eyes up <laughs> so yeah don't forget to check out my other videos uh, the other chill out time I did the retro um, ultimate retro one is in the description below and you know the link the links in the description the description is another treasure chest today <laughs> so yeah do check that out and um, yeah 